Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to another Loki review. So I was gonna do this every week. That backfired. Partly because I was watching other things and playing other things and obviously making videos across three channels and, you know, streaming on Twitch. It takes time up, but I still could have found time. It's just that I kept forgetting to watch the episodes. And soon enough, I was three episodes behind, I watched them, then I realised, wait, the finale's tomorrow. So, I thought I'd just review episodes three to six in one go. Also, my reviews aren't really that in-depth anyway. I don't, like, aim for in-depth reviews. I aim to just share my thoughts of things that I'm a fan of, and also things I'm not as big a fan of. But I'm a big fan of the MCU. I love the MCU. I've been here since phase one, and I've enjoyed the rides. Endgame really fulfilled me, and I really thought, whatever happens after Endgame, you know, I'll always love the MCU. And I was a bit sceptical on a few MCU shows, uh, Disney Plus shows, but I was also glad that they were finally uh, integrating a TV universe with a, with a movie universe. Obviously not the old shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which for me should be anyway, what? but still, the fact they were making new MCU shows that would actually connect, properly connect to the main MCU, I thought that was great. One Division I felt was an interesting start, very weird, but it got better and better, and I enjoyed that. Really loved Falcon Winter Soldier, and then Loki, which I didn't expect, but might be the best show of all three of them. When I saw the trailers, I was worried it might be a bit too f similar to Legends of Tomorrow, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. The first episode was crazy. It had the best opener, that's for sure, of the three shows so far. And episode two was good. Every episode was good. And um, it really escalated. It really did escalate. I really liked what they did with this show. And the finale is absolutely insane. And it left me the question, who, who is this guy, he who remains? And he called himself, like he said he's been called the Conqueror. And I was thinking... Kang the Conqueror. I don't know much about him, but I knew he was a big, powerful, big bad. I'm just like, did they just tease him? Did they just tease alternate realities of him? Like, this show I heard would have a big impact on MCU movies, and it did. It had an impact on the multiverse. And I was just like, oh, the ending really, like, the ending really, sh it really tells you, like, it, it definitely has some sort of link to Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man movie coming out, especially if the rumours are true. And also Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. That's a big clue in the title there. But I'm pretty sure the finale of this show has a huge, huge, huge effect on what happens in the next few MCU movies, which I'm looking forward to. I'm really excited for um, the next Spider-Man movie and the Doctor Strange movie. I hope the rumours are true, though. I really do, because the rumours are crazy. If the rumours are true, oh my word. Uh, episode 3, I uh, felt the story about Lamentus 1 was pretty interesting because I knew nothing about that. I wonder if that's based on a real event. Obviously, it wouldn't be the same thing, but I'm sure there's been an event at some point where a planet crashed into a moon. Maybe that's happened at some point. I don't know, it probably, definitely not. It's fictional. But still, um, I just thought it was interesting how they were on this planet. Well, they were on the moon with civilization on it. And they were there on the day where a planet was about to crash into it. So that's pretty crazy. Lamentus 1 is something you got to look up on. I'm pretty sure that's from Marvel Comics as well. And episode 4, they brought back Lady Sif, sort of. It wasn't... I mean, it was her, but it was like a... A vision? It wasn't a vision. It's like a hologram. Not a hologram. She was there, but it wasn't her. But it, it was her. It was the actress. So it was cool that she, they brought her back. Uh, that, that was interesting. I don't think she's back for long. I think it's just the one scene, but I think that's pretty cool. Lady Loki, I liked her more and more as the show went on. At first I was a little like, oh, I was a little surprised, but yeah, she was an inter interesting character, very interesting character. And you get to see in episode five other versions of Loki. So you get to see Loki as an old man, Loki as a child, Loki as an alligator. Yep, there's, there's a lot of Lokis in this, uh, in one episode particularly. But obviously the main two are Loki himself from the events of Endgame. Obviously not the one that died, the one from the first Avengers movie. And also uh, Lady Loki, who are the, obviously the main key components of this. And yeah, the TVA are a crazy organisation. And in this show they found out the truth about the TVA. They're not what they think they are. They're not what they think it is. Things are all a lie and they find the real people behind the TVA. And it's very trippy. 
it's very interesting and I really like what they did with this finale I really do uh, and this show in general I did not this was a, this was a surprise to me like I could have like I was pessimistic about one division for sure so that surprised me as well um, I expected Falcon Winter Soldier to be good because I like yeah, I, I like the sort of tone uh, of, of those types like Winter Soldier or Civil War so I knew I kind of had a feeling I didn't know but I had a feeling that the Falcon Winter Soldier would be good and for me it delivered um, some things could have been better but it delivered but One Division and Loki I did not I did not I wasn't hyped about them I don't I didn't know if they were going to be good or not especially One Division but they both proved me wrong massively but One Division I felt started slow uh, Falcon Winter Soldier I felt was strong throughout but this one it was great like the whole sh season was great so only six episodes but you know these these Disney Plus shows they feel less like TV shows and more like extended movies they put a lot, a lot more budget into them yeah it's not as much budget as the movies but still a bit of budget you know you get to see some better effects uh, than regular TV shows and I really like what I see I really do so uh, I'm looking forward to the next Disney Plus show, which is What If, and then later on, obviously they're doing She-Hulk, they're doing Miss Marvel. They're doing a lot of things, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm more confident in them now, because with the Disney Plus shows, I was looking forward to them, but for most of them, I wasn't that hyped. Um, I was mainly hyped about Falcon Winter Soldier. The rest of them, and also Moon Knight as well. I'm looking forward to Moon Knight as well. But a lot of the shows are just like, I was a bit skeptical. But so far, two shows that I was skeptical, skeptical, skeptical about. Wonder Vision, probably the most skeptical. I can't say the word skeptical about. I was probably the most doubtful about Wonder Vision, right? And they proved me wrong. And Loki has also proved me wrong. Um, but then again, part of the reason I didn't wasn't looking forward to Loki was because they keep bringing him back. They don't need to. Like if you kill him off, you kill him off enough times, you can keep him killed off. I know this is a different Loki of course but still this show proved me wrong. It was great and has a big effect on the multiverse and other MCU movies. So yeah this show overall 9 out of 10 for me. I'm not gonna rate each episode but they're all 8s and 9s for me. I really enjoyed them. Maybe episode 2 is a 7. I don't know. Uh, but yeah good show and I'm really excited now for What If because uh, the possibilities of, with that show are endless so that's for sure. So yeah, uh, I, I cannot wait for the future of Disney Plus shows. And at the end of this show, they said Loki will return in season two. So Loki is the first Disney Plus show, I'm sure, that will get a season two. So the way they ended it was a bit of a cliffhanger. So I cannot wait to see what they do with season two. And hopefully it comes sooner than later, hopefully by next year, hopefully earlier. So yeah, we'll see. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.